Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Now, I had initially made this tutorial a long, long time ago, but I don't think I explained it well enough. And it's essentially rendering out the viewport. And this is really good if you're doing animation and you want to send something to a client without it being final, or in my case, if you're working in a game studio, we need to reiterate quite a lot, the feedback from your creative director, stuff like this. So I have this kind of basic animation. I'll quickly jump into Eevee so you can see it actually. Uh, let's get smoking everything. Ooh, sexy, sexy. <laughs> anyway, this is an older version, so it's a bit rough. But in order to save out the viewport, there's several ways we can do this. The issue the user was having was actually, how do you save this? So if we go to view here, we can see viewport render image. So this will just render the viewport image. Viewport render animation, which is the animation from obviously the timeline. And we also have viewport render keyframes. So if you have keyframes set on a camera or a certain aspect, it'll just render the keyframes. But how do we save this? And it's pretty much the exact same way as you would save a render. Now, I always save out in PNG image sequences, always. I just put them together on DaVinci Resolve or whatever application you want to use. But again, we can change this to AVI RAW. FMPEGS video is probably the one that you would use. Uh, but that's pretty much how you save it. You set your output path. One thing that I would like to also note is if you come down to metadata here, you can embed the metadata directly into the image. Which is pretty good if you're wanting to kind of keep like see like the frame range and stuff like this. Always good. But if you burn it into the image, it'll actually put it inside of the image. And that is pretty much how you render out a viewport. Now you can actually jump into Eevee and render out this. Anything in the viewport will render. Uh, so it can be in the workspace. This is going to be a little bit slower here. Uh, so yeah, that is pretty much how you render the viewport. Very easy to do. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel, all that crap. Anyway, take care.